Hey everybody, welcome back to One T's Garage. My name's Elliot, and I'm gonna be replacing a steering wheel on a 2003 Chevy Silverado. I'll be showing you how to do that. Um, it's a pretty straightforward process, real easy. They're just simple hand tools right here. This is all you'll need. You just need a small, thin screwdriver like this one, uh, or this one. You'll need a ratchet. Um, you'll need a 7 8 socket or preferably 21 millimeter socket. Um, an extension will help. Um, I'll be replacing the steering wheel. As you can see, this one has some damage. That's why I'm replacing it. It's got like a hole there. Um, it's splitting at the seams. It's super rough and uh, just the plastic is deteriorating from the sun. Um, so I'm replacing this one out of my 03 Chevy Silverado and I'll be putting this new one on. I bought this one used off of eBay but it actually came off of a Denali um, or an Escalade. I can't remember which. I think it was an Escalade. Um, but it's wood grain and leather. Super smooth. Uh, it's going to look a lot better in my truck. Um, as you can tell, this one has the little buttons, the control buttons. Um, my truck does not have that option, so um, those buttons are going to be kind of useless. But I don't mind that. I'm just going to leave them. And uh, you can see this right here is the connector for the buttons. I just won't be plugging that in because there won't be a connector on my truck for that. This is the old steering wheel that came off of it. I'm going to show you how to take it off in a minute. Uh, this is the horn wire. I'll show you how to disconnect that and reattach it. But it's really straightforward, simple process. And this is all the hand tools you'll need is right here. Right here is the steering wheel we're about to put on there. I'm going to grab my tools. Here's my Chevy truck. And first things first, um, disconnect the negative battery cable right here just disconnect that and you're supposed to disconnect it and wait 30 seconds for all the capacitors to uh, power off that's gonna keep your airbag from deploying um, prematurely I've never had a problem with it I've uh, been a mechanic for eight years and I've disconnected uh, a bunch of airbags and never had one go off on me. Um, but that is a safety precaution you're supposed to do. Um, so just letting you, all, you guys know that you should disconnect the battery and wait 30 seconds before you attempt to disconnect the airbag. Um, I always make sure that I'm grounded, uh, I touch the metal um, before I touch these airbag connections. So what we'll be doing first is taking this airbag off. It's just kind of on there, so most people don't know how to take it off. It's uh, pretty simple though. There's uh, these holes right here on the side. Um, if you can see that right there, there's a little hole. And there's one on either side. Uh, just big enough to put a small screwdriver in. Um, you can see on this side. Uh, yeah, it's right, right there. So all you do is stick your screwdriver in there. Um, it might not fit, so kind of just wiggle it through there. And what you don't want to do is. Uh, pretty much pushed like straight in but you're gonna want to push in and then you're gonna pull the airbag out just a little bit so you'll push in you'll feel like a metal thing it feels like it's on a spring you just push it in And it'll release the clip. It 
So there, I got that out. You can kind of see they came uh, a little bit forward. Then you go to this side and make sure this side stays out and then push in the clip on this side. Sometimes you gotta feel around to see if you, you're hitting it right. Um, but there, came off. And then you get the airbag loose and then there'll be these connections uh, behind it. So these connections for the airbag, you just squeeze in right here and then you pull out. So there's two clips, you squeeze. So these two clips um, right here, there's a, you just squeeze in on both sides of that and then you pull out. Let me do the same thing with the pink one. Make sure, so there's a pink one, there's a white one. Make sure they get back in the same spot. You pull that out, then your, uh, your airbag's disconnected. Uh, put it over the side and face it face up. So now you got the airbag connectors off. Um, you got this one little, two, there's two wires that go to this uh, little white thing right here. Um, if you can see it in there. That's your horn, your horn contactor. So all you want to do is want to push in and turn it, turn it counterclockwise. To push in, turn it counterclockwise, and then it'll pop out. Um, as you can see, it's got two little clips um, and a little spring, and then there's a little contact at the end. That's where your horn contacts. So it just goes in that hole right there, and it pops out. So you got the wires disconnected now. Now we're going to take this nut off right here. So use your 21 millimeter or your 7 8 socket and your ratchet and disconnect it or unscrew it a little ways uh, you're not going to want to take it all the way off but unscrew it enough to have a gap and at that point you're going to want to grab the steering wheel with both hands so unscrew the nut um, about halfway where you have a gap in there and then what you want to do is you grab the steering wheel with both hands you know, want to kind of wiggle it side to side until it pops off um, so it's uh, on the spleen so it pops off and then you can take your nut off of the, the bolt the rest of the way so unscrew it the rest of the way and you put the bolt aside and this should come right off just make sure your airbag uh, wires get fed through that hole in the middle and there you go, your steering wheel is off. So now that I got the old steering wheel off, I got the new steering wheel right here. I'm gonna put this on. It's basically the same same way, um, just backwards. So um, you're gonna wanna make sure before you take the steering wheel off that your steering wheel is forward, so straight on. Um, there's a little tab right here, a little notch that shows uh, on the shaft, which way is up. So feed your airbag wires through the bottom hole right there. Just feed that through there and then uh, put your steering wheel on the bolt. Line it up, it should slide right on. Uh, then just put a, go ahead and put your nut on there and tighten your nut all the way down
And you don't have to have it super tight, just make sure it's snug. Okay, after that, you don't want to put your horn contact back in. So this is your horn contact. And it goes in this top hole right here. Show you a little closer. So put your horn contact back in. Uh, it's got these two little tabs that just clip in there. So you push it in that hole. Push it all the way down. You can feel the spring resist it a little bit. Um, and then once you're all the way down, you twist it to the right. Um, sometimes it'll want to pop back out. So just make sure you get it in there. And then when it's in there, you can feel it. It kind of grabs it. You can kind of pull on it a little bit and it won't pop out. So that's how you know it's good. You pull on it a little bit and it won't pop out on its own. So then you're, you're golden. So that's all good to go. Now you're ready to put your airbag back on. So now uh, you put your airbag back on. Um, make sure that your pink wire goes with your pink contact. Again, make sure you've grounded yourself out so there's no static electricity that can uh, set this thing off while you're working on it. Um, so what you wanna do is grab it and put that connector in. It'll go, it's only one way it can go and it just slides in and pops in place. You'll hear a click when it's fully set and the clips set. Okay, so you hear that click. Those are both in. Um, then you line up these two metal pins um, in your spring holes. You can see the spring holes right there can see them um, they just two holes on either side line those up then you put it in and your horn might honk a little bit but that's uh, clipped in now try out your horn it works make sure it's tight and there you go Got a new new steering wheel. Wood grains and it'll look really good. Uh, feels way better. Um, so that's how you replace that's how you replace the steering wheel on a 03 Chevy Silverado. That about wraps up my steering wheel replacement video. Hope this was helpful for you guys. Um, if it was, please give me a thumbs up on my video. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, leave me a comment if you have any questions and uh, tell me what else you would like to see in my videos. Um, I will be working more on my Chevy Silverado that you can see behind me. I've got a few other projects I'm working on and uh, I'd love to help you guys out with anything that you want to see me work on. So that's about it. Have a great day from 1T's Garage. My name's Elliot. See you guys later.